Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to a, another Minecraft command block tutorial video. And uh, I'm in Minecraft 1.18.2 and I'm on the Java edition here and I'm showing you something a little different and something that I think some of you will find useful. And it is useful in a number of different scenarios when doing command block related stuff. And that is actually detecting offhand items in Minecraft. Now, what I actually mean by that is obviously at the moment, this diamond that I have in my hand is in my normal hand in the game. But as soon as I switch it to my offhand, my left hand, you can see that the detector on the side of me right here actually turns on when it actually realizes that there's diamonds in my off hand. So that is the detector I'm gonna be showing you today. And we can actually get this sort of thing working with only two command blocks. Um, there's only one command block that's really important when it comes to this kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's certainly useful. And as I say, you can do this with any item type in the game. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy the video and learn something new, then please subscribe to the channel so that you stay updated with these videos. And yeah, basically we've got to discuss what we actually need to do. Now, um, these sorts of detectors that I end up making, basically what I do is in order to show that the detector is actually working, I make it place this lit redstone lamp on top of the detector to show that it's actually working. But you can do lots of different things like it, instead of doing a lamp, you could place a redstone block or something instead. So there's lots of different possibilities with this, but the main point of the tutorial is to show you how to check the offhand slot. Now, if we go into the inventory here, you can see that our offhand slot is right here. The one that's meant to be uh, designated for the shield. And uh, in the normal inventory, it will be over here somewhere. Uh, but this is the slot that we're going to be looking at. So you can see, as soon as I put the diamond in that offhand, the detector actually starts working. Now, in order to get this detector to actually work, um, we're using two command blocks here. We've got a repeating command block and a chain command block. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove... Um, remove the lamp uh, on the detector. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. Now, the reason why we need to do that is basically um, in order to get this to actually work, um, this lamp is actually an invincible lamp. So you can see that uh, this lamp just gets placed over and over and over again. And um, in order to get so that the lamp actually disappears, we have to first remove it first. So that's very important. And then this command block is the main command block of it all. And we detect offhand slot item right here. So that is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. And uh, it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you and build it right now. And I'm also going to pick an item for us to actually detect as well. So. And uh, let's pick a um, an observer or something. Uh, let's pick an observer, which we can actually place in our offhand right here. So we're going to be trying to make a detector for an observer. But as I said, you can pick any item type whatsoever. And it's important to note that when you actually pick an item, you need to find out its item ID. So as you can see, this one right here is Minecraft colon observer and if you don't have those IDs showing I believe you do F3 and H in order to actually toggle those item IDs I think. As you can see advanced tooltips are hidden and now they are shown so now I can actually see the Minecraft ID for this observer. Now we're going to place these command blocks like this so that they are facing in the right direction. And uh, I'm going to make this one a repeating command block and uh, always active. And this one a chain command block and always active. All right. 
And um, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually do the removing of the lamp on this command block. So um, I believe what I did is I did, yeah, minus one on the X. So in order to do this for me, in order to remove the lamp, I need to use relative coordinates like this and set it to Minecraft colon air. So all that's really doing is placing air above this command block. Um, so we've now sorted that one out. And now we have the main command block in order to detect the offhand slot. Now, the first thing we need to actually realize here is when you actually have an inventory in Minecraft, each slot has an actual number or a certain ID. And for some reason, the um, the offhand slot or the shield slot is different to all the rest of them. So all these other slots have a positive integer or a positive number. But for some reason, the offhand slot, you have to use minus 106 for some reason. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it is. <laughs> and that is what we're going to be using with this command block right here. All right, we now have to do this command block right here. So what we need to do is we need to do slash execute if entity, and then we're going to be targeting at P, which means the nearest player in this case. And we're going to do NBT equals, and then we're going to be checking for a particular data tag. So that is why we're using this NBT variable right here. And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the inventory uh, data tag, so you, which we check the inventory like this with uh, square brackets. And within here, we're going to be checking for slot colon and then minus 106 B. So when that's us actually targeting the offhand slot in our inventory. And then what we're then going to do is we're going to do ID colon and then Minecraft colon and then observer. So that's us actually looking at the observer right here. And we use double quotes around that as well. So we've got slot is minus 106 B and the ID in quotation marks is observer, okay? And once we've actually done that, we then do run and then set block. And in our case, in order to place the lamp above us, we need to, above the command block, I mean, we need to do these relative coordinates. And then we do Minecraft colon, and then redstone lamp. And then we're going to do lit equals true so that we have a lit command block. So. That is it. If you actually have it set to always active, then this system will always be working. And as you can see, if I then move the observer to my offhand right here, the detector is actually working. So um, as I move the diamonds to my offhand, you can see this detector is now working. And then if I then move the observer to my offhand, this detector then starts working as well. So we're now actually detecting this offhand slot right here in order to, you know, only using two command blocks to make this detector. But the main command block is this one right here where we're actually checking the inventory data and the Pacific slot. All right, everyone, that's about it for this simple little tutorial. I thought some of you would be interested in how to actually check this in Minecraft using command blocks in order to check the inventory data or the offhand slot or the shield slot, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, if you did learn something new, then please give me a like on the video, It'd be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is in the description, or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Drecky Series on Twitter. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more command block tutorials or redstone or just tutorials in general, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 20,000 subscribers as a goal. I would love to have 20,000 of you guys on the channel. 
It'd be absolutely amazing. So please support the channel if you did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you have a nice day and fun with these command blocks. And I will see you next time.